Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Farmer George. On today's episode, I'm going to show you, eh, not all crosses work. And I'm going to show you the reason why. Stay tuned. Alright, now that I'm back out from behind my uh, pepper jungle, I just wanted to show you how beautiful these plants are. So, this is one of my pepper plants, and if you've been following along on my channel, I, I showed you how to germinate this one and germinate my tricky seeds how to transplant it into hydroponics like this, and how to thin it. So that's why it's so bushy, and uh, it's producing so many flowers. Just some background, this is plant number one. And I wanted to show you plant number two. This one was struggling the most, and you can see that it's not even as nearly as, as big as this one. But you'd be surprised at which one's actually setting fruit. And that's this one. And let me show you what we got going on. So here's, here's a pepper right here. And this one's turning into a pepper. We got another pepper there, we got a pepper there, we got a pepper there, we got a pepper there. There's probably six or seven peppers on this plant. And I am using the Flora series by General Hydroponics and I was using two teaspoons of each of the three different bottles, the Micro, the Grow, and the Bloom. Um, and I've been really frustrated, first of all, with this big plant because uh, at first the, the flowers weren't producing any pollen, then all of a sudden they produced pollen uh, like crazy. Um, but then, I, I don't know, yep. So I just knocked it against the table and a flower dropped off. So, I've been asking everybody in the Pepper Lovers community at, uh, on MeWe what the heck is going on and I've been getting a, a bunch of different answers. I got these seeds from the exact same pepper, but it's a pepper cross. And the male parent where I got my pollen from was a chinense species of pepper, capsaicin chinense. The female plant was a, a capsaicin anum. So, I then got to thinking, you know, these are pepper crosses, and I thought about this chart that I found online. It's got a bunch of different information on how you can cross peppers, and which species crosses with, with which. And when I looked at the chart, and the male pollen plant, um, chinense, crossed with a female anum plant, created a partially fertile offspring according to their research. So, this plant is infertile. That's why the flowers keep dropping off. It's producing pollen, which is great because I've been collecting the pollen and I've been pollinating all three of my plants, the other plants in the other room. But as you can see, this one, I mean, we're getting peppers like mad, and there it is again. So this is my F1, um, F1 pepper cross between the two. And I guess partially fertile means part of your plants could grow and part of them won't. So if you're looking at that chart, and you see partially fertile, here's an illustration of what that means. So no matter what kind of nutrients you use, no matter what pH you have, no matter if you got a fan blowing or anything, that put all that aside if you're crossing pepper plants and look at the species. So two of my three plants, the other one's starting to fruit right now, but this one I just wanted to show you because it's got like the seven or eight fruit. Um, so if you're scratching your head and trying to balance your nutrients, trying to balance your pH, and if you're doing a pepper cross, Double check your species that you started with because that could be all the reason why your flowers, in my example, or maybe they don't produce pollen, and that's why they're not bearing fruit or your fruit's not sticking. It's not because you didn't add CalMag or anything that, although CalMag is a great nutrient you should add because it helps stick, helps the flowers to stick on the, the plants better. I haven't had one flower drop off of here and every single flower has been dropping off there and it was driving me crazy. So. I just wanted to put that out in the universe, and uh, if you're banging your head against the wall, banging your head against the table, <laughs> and you can't figure out why your, your cross pepper plant is just not setting fruit, think about the chart in the description, and go take a look, and maybe that's your problem. So, and I hope it helps. If you like this video, please, uh, please subscribe by clicking this logo when it pops up. Please give me a like, and uh, shoot me a comment if you want to let me know some of your struggles that you've had when you're when you're crossing peppers. Until next time, I'm Farmer George. Let's share and grow together. See ya.